Um, so what we did, um, we're just basically pairing up the radio to the truck. So I wanted to just kind of quickly go over everything uh, that we did. We basically took the radio out of the box, we put some AA batteries uh, onto it, um, and then we plugged in the receiver right over here. I want to show you guys where I plugged everything in just in case you guys are trying to figure it out um, you know, at home. So with this particular radio, the FSI6S, um, and if you you are using the multifunction unit, the MFC01, uh, you know how that works, right? Where you plug the servo into the multifunction unit, and then from there the multifunction unit gives you outputs, uh, which plug into your receiver. Um, so what we did here, we plugged in the J4, which is the input steering, in uh, into the first one, which is channel one, and then channel two was the input throttle, which is a J, the J5. And then on the fourth channel, we didn't plug anything on the third. On the fourth channel, we just uh, plugged in the J7 uh, input shift. So we got the we got the shifting gears here on this channel, uh, which is the channel four. And then we got the steering here, which is channel one. And then we got the throttle back and forth here on channel uh, two. So you can actually plug in your, I believe this is the automated legs. Yeah, this is the leg support system. You can plug that into the third channel. Um, the third channel is going to be this one here uh, to get the legs up and down. This particular model doesn't have the legs, so we don't need to plug that in. Um, now, one thing that I wanted to just quickly show you guys, uh, the, this radio is just super fantastic. So let's just say one of these buttons is down, right? Um, you turn on the radio, you gotta have them all up and now allows you to turn on the actual radio. And from here, it gives you the battery reading, not just the battery on the controller, but also the reading for the battery on the vehicle. Now, right now it has a question mark and that's because the truck is not on. So once we turn it on, I'm gonna just hit the switch here. There it is, now it gives you the reading of the battery, just lit up there. There's the truck. There it's on now. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I wanted to just show you guys. Uh, the steering over here okay and then your throttle is going to be over here now one thing guys uh, about the throttle is that if it's actually let's say you go up on this like initially what was happening is when we went throttle up the wheels were spinning backwards there's two things that you can do one is that you can reverse these wires uh, you know but another thing is that you can actually reverse it right through the uh, right through the radio itself so you just hit this button here and then you go to reverse that was channel two and then you just go uh right here normal and then reverse and then what that does is that it reverses you know your forward reverse left and right if you want it the opposite way you just go under reverse and then you just go back um but yeah basically that's it and uh, another thing too is, is that when you're all done um just hit these buttons it won't actually allow you to turn the radio off until you turn the truck off In the truck there, hit OK, and then now you can turn it off. There it is. Pretty neat. Cool, huh? Awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope uh, that works and helped you guys setting up your radio. Uh, I uh, 6S FS, um, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching.